Thank you for checking out this free worm rig. It's actually part of a MoGraph Mentor workshop where I go through how to create and rig characters in Blender 3D. If you're interested in learning more, it's an intermediate level class meant for professionals, so check that out. For now, let's jump into how to use the rig and look at the rig controls. So let's take a look at this rig here. So when you open it up, this should be what you see. And we're gonna go ahead here and we're gonna switch into pose mode. So if we grab this little star, you'll see that you can move the eye to look all around. If you grab this head rig here, you'll see that you can grab his head and this will move his head around. And likewise, the circle down here will move his butt around. Up here, we have the antenna control, and it's as simple as that. One thing to note when you're animating with this rig, when you go to pose into extreme poses to avoid breaking here, what you need to do is go ahead and rotate the control there to give him more of a natural bend. So let's go ahead and let's undo those. And then let's pack back out here to object mode. And out here in object mode, you can go ahead and if you want to move the entire rig, you can just grab the rig here and you can add your kind of keyframes there. Now, if we want to do eye blinks and change his eye to being completely open, you can select the eye here, come down to this tab, and here we have shape keys. Now, you can animate these shape keys to change the way his eye looks. So let's say that we want to add a blink. You'll see here that it doesn't look good when we're kind of going there in slow motion, but it's not really set up for that. It's more for cartoony blinks. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and right now we'll set a keyframe on open at zero and then we'll move forward a couple frames and we'll set that to one and we'll hit I there. And you can see over here in our graph editor, if we grab these keyframes and hit constant, that's kind of how you go about animating this eye. And it'll look great in motion with kind of cartoony style animation. So let's go ahead, delete those keyframes, and let's look at how to animate this character with some secondary motion as an example. So let's go ahead and use this rig to kind of show off secondary motion in characters. So let's do, make sure we're in pose mode here, and we're gonna turn on auto keying. We're going to grab this head in the space here, and we're going to grab this, and we're gonna move it down below this X line here in the front view. And I'm gonna be using this X line as kind of the bottom frame of my camera. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna move forward to frame 12, gonna hit Alt, G and when I hit alt G what that's going to do is it's going to reset the position of those bones that I just did back to their default because I actually want him to land in the default pose so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this antenna down here at frame one and I'm going to squish this down here and then once it comes up here going to hit alt G and that should give it a little bit of kind of a, a squish and landing there and you can see right now they're landing at the same time so it's not really a secondary motion but we'll fix that in a second so let's go ahead and actually when it lands here I want him to almost look like he was squished and not really reset until he hits that pose so we'll come back down here and we'll actually grab his antenna and his head, and we'll move those down a little bit there. And as we come up here, it's going to reset. So we're gonna grab those, move that down a little bit. And let's come here to frame 16. Let's hit Alt G. And now you'll see that it kind of moves up and lands and stretches up back to his normal position. But Let's take a look at that emotion. It's still not really looking natural. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this 16 frame here, and if we click the summary keyframe, we can actually move it, all the keyframes right there. So we'll move those up to 20, and what we'll do is we'll grab that head, we'll grab that antenna, and we'll go ahead and stretch those out. So now let's take a look at that in motion. And now we kind of have a little bit of a bouncing animation. And right here, I'm actually going to take this body and move it up just a tiny bit because I feel like it's kind of breaking my rig there. And let's see what that looks like in motion. Now you can kind of see we're getting a bounce. We've kind of lost our bounce in our antenna there through the process of kind of resetting those keyframes. So let's actually squish it down like this, but up here. So we could go ahead and delete that keyframe there, move that keyframe over, but I'm gonna kind of keep all these in line for now. So let's just grab this antenna on frame 12 here. We're gonna move this down. And then here, we're going to move that antenna up. 
And you see now it looks really stretched and actually we can maybe even exaggerate that a bit more and then it'll kind of snap down here. So let's go ahead and play that back in motion. And now you can see that our antenna is kind of snapping up with our body. But we want that action to be secondary. So that's actually very simple to do. What we're going to do is we're going to grab our ant head keyframes here, which will grab this control right here. And what we're going to do is hit G2. I oftentimes find that a two frame offset is really nice and attractive in an animation. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like from the front view. And you can see there it's a bit much. So I'm actually going to hit G minus one and do a one frame offset and see how that looks. And there you can see that we have a pretty natural offset for our secondary motion. Another thing we can do to make this animation a little more snappy is we can actually grab these controls here and we can look at them in our graph editor over here. If we hit all there by tapping A and then hit period, we'll actually kind of zoom in. And what we can do is we can grab all these keyframes. We'll come up here, we'll change this to individual centers and then we'll hit scale X and then we can scale out just a tiny bit. And when we do that, what it'll do is give us a little bit more easing and a little bit kind of a snappy motion in the middle. Now, if you take a look at some of these other examples, you can see a lot of different places that I've put in secondary motion here on much more advanced animations, but really it's just these basic principles. I oftentimes find it's easiest to keep all my keyframes aligned and then finish my animation and then go through and kind of offset my keyframes later to kind of create that secondary motion. Thank you for watching. I'll be posting more quick character animation tutorials in the future, so let me know what kind you'd like to see in the comments below. Please tag me and MoGraph Mentor in any animations that you make with this rig and we'll share some of them. Thanks again for watching.